Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Bonsai Mirai. Uh, I'm stoked to be here uh, with Oscar Jonker from Bonsai Empire. Uh, he's out here in the Pacific Northwest getting ready to take in the first inaugural Artisans Cup and uh, came out to Bonsai Mirai to pay us a visit. So I'm super psyched to show you guys some of the trees that we've been building over the past five years and uh, introduce you to some of the bonsai that have made Mirai what it is. This Rocky Mountain Juniper is, is kind of the king of the garden. This is the tree we know as Baker. This is the first Rocky Mountain Juniper that I ever styled, and uh, it was probably the Rocky Mountain Juniper that started uh, more or less Bonsai Mirai and the Juniper craze that's kind of consumed our, our garden here. So um, we, we always pay a lot of respect to Baker. So this is uh, a big limber pine that was collected a few years ago, and um, we, it's been in training for about two years in a Sarah Rainer container, and I'm not sure that there's a better native North American pine in the United States. So this is one of our um, sentinels at Bonsai Mirai.
Um, this is the pygmy cypress forest. So about a year ago, we kind of got this urge to find a little bit more of an American aesthetic with bonsai. And, and we started realizing that the American forest was a very major iconic portion of kind of our cultural influence. And we decided to create a forest for each ecosystem across North America. And growing up or going to college on the coastal California, I saw the Monterey Cypress groves a lot um, over the four years that I was there. And I wanted to make something that was representative of the Pacific coastline. So these pygmy cypress are sourced from Mendocino Coast Bonsai in Mendocino, California, Bob and Zach Scheiman. And I had kind of a, a number of them, each one of them valuable in its own right. But when we put them together on this sort of coastal cliff blowing inland where the jet stream is coming onshore, uh, I think it made for a more magical, valuable composition. And uh, this kind of continues to evolve and express that environment more and more as we work on it. So it's going to be exciting to see what this becomes in the future. Um, this is an Engelmann spruce that was collected off of Mount Hood locally and it was pretty undeniable that wind had really influenced and affected the shape of this tree and so as opposed to trying to do something radical to change that we just decided to go with it but when we were looking for a container to hold the tree nothing really seemed to to maximize that impact of wind and we had this piece of juniper driftwood that um, was collected and and didn't survive the collection process and so it seemed like a really good way to keep the juniper kind of alive and, and still moving forward, but also to, to create a vessel for the, the spruce to be planted in. And the main motivation behind using the juniper deadwood was to express the element that created the tree and not necessarily express the environment. So it's, it's one of our first kind of moves into a more artistic sort of vision of showing other elements and how they uh, relate and involve bonsai. <laughs> 